my name is Leanne and I'd like to introduce you to some yoga poses that you can practice before settling down for a restful night's sleep. As with any physical exercise, please feel very welcome to listen to your inner guide of what positions are right and comfortable in your own body. Find a comfortable seat and begin to focus on your breath. Take your hands to the lower belly. Deepen the breath. Begin to notice how the body moves as the breath comes in and leaves the body. If any thoughts occur in your mind about your busy day, then just let them go. We don't need that right now. Begin to take an inhale, raise the arms overhead. As you breathe out, gently turn the chest towards the left, take the hands towards the left side, rest them wherever is comfortable. And a few breaths here. Inhale, raise your arms, and as you exhale, turn towards the right side. Allow the spine to remain tall, the chest to remain lifted. Inhale, raise both arms out of this gentle twist. Exhale, take the right hand towards the left ear and gently encourage lengthening of the neck. Swap the arms, the left arm, hand comes to the right ear. Release. Turn the body towards the left side. Start to walk the fingers forward in front of the knee. Aiming forward with the chest, keeping the chest lifted. Walk the fingers back towards the body. And gently turn towards the right side. Begin to walk the fingers forward past the right knee. Again, keeping the chest lifted. The spine can be long. Walk the fingers back towards the body. Turn towards the left. Release the right foot out to the side. The left foot comes towards the right thigh. Walk the hands forward. Create a pillow of the fists. Press the forehead. Soften. Begin to let the day go. Walk the fingers back towards the body. Swap the legs. The left thigh comes towards the right foot. Walk the fingers forward. Create pillow of the fists. Rest the head. Walk the fingers back towards the body, lift the body up, 
Place the hands to the floor, send the knees behind. Find a neutral position. All fours. As you breathe out, push into the hands, the shoulders, round the back. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale, round the back, stretch the shoulder blades. Inhale back to neutral. Release the practice. Have the right arm underneath the left shoulder. And follow the gaze towards the hand. Replace the hand. Send the left hand under the right shoulder. Follow the gaze with the hand. Sit the hips down towards the heels. Bring both hands underneath the shoulders once again. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Begin to make small circles with the hips. Send the left foot across the body and the shin towards the mat. If there is a gap between the hip and the mat, you can use a, black, a blanket or a block to support. Release the hands to the floor. If this pose does not feel right in your body, then please feel free to come back to all fours. Walk the hands back to underneath the shoulders. Inhale back to neutral. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Begin to move the hip, making circles in your own time, in your own pace. Begin to walk the right foot towards the left side of the mat. Lower the shin to the floor. Walk the hands forward. Allow the hips to remain level neutral spine. Walk the hands back under the shoulders, lift the body, send the knee back underneath the hips. Begin to rotate the chest. Breathe out as the back reaches towards the sky. Breathe in as the tummy aims towards the floor. Come to a stillness and take that movement in the opposite direction. Come to stillness. Bring the feet together, walk the hands towards the front of the mat, widen the knees, lower the head towards the floor. Walk the hands to create a pillow for the forehead if that feels better for your neck. Allow the body to be comfortable. Bring 
the body back onto all fours. Begin to lower the tummy, release the body all the way down towards the floor. Allow a small space between the feet. The forearms can be parallel. The chest can very, very gently lift. Listen to how your body feels in this pose. And please feel very welcome to ease off if that's what's better for you. Be comfortable. Make a pillow of the hands, turn the gaze towards the left. Draw the left knee up towards the elbow. Bring the knees and the gaze back to the centre. Turn the gaze to the right, bend the right knee. Bring the gaze and the leg back to the centre. Push into the hands, bring your body back towards your knees, walk the hands towards the front of the mat, child's pose. Using a wall or the side of a piece of furniture, lay flat on the back, place the legs up the wall, flex the ankles. Allow the breath to come in in its own natural rhythm. Let go of the day. Keep the feet, the ankles together, or if it feels nice for your legs, begin to create some space between the ankles. A small space, a wider space, depends on how your own body feels today. Draw the legs together. Step the right foot over the left, cross the legs. Allow the ankles to remain flexed, the feet to remain active. Replace the legs, cross the left leg over the right. Replace the leg. Start to bend the knees, roll towards one side and begin to lift the body to a seated position. Have the feet on the floor, the knees bent. Walk the knees closer, hug the knees. Take the chin towards the chest or the forehead towards the knees. Make a pillow for the forehead if it feels appropriate. Any issues with the lower back or the digestive system, please feel free to keep the feet on the floor. Begin to lift the heels, lift the feet, creating a balance. Flex the ankles. Replace the feet to the floor. Separate the knees, allow the soles of the feet to come together. Hold on to the ankles or the toes or the feet. Settle the breath. Allow the knees to fall out to the side, gently opening the hips. This is comfortable. Allow a gentle hinge at the hips leading with the chest. Feel free to move the feet further away from the body if that feels comfortable or closer to the body if that's what's best for you. Mm. 
begin to close the knees, hug the knees, lower the chin. Moving down towards the mat, lay flat on the mat. Raise the feet from the floor. Curve the knees over the hips. Raise the arms. Make small circles with the wrists. In one direction and in another direction. Take the hands to the knees. Small circles with the ankles. Separate the knees, hold on to the feet, the ankles or the calves and allow the shoulders to remain in contact with the floor. Allow the body to remain soft. Ananda Balasana, happy baby. Release the feet, release the feet back down towards the floor, allow the knees to move from side to side, draw the arms out beside the body, begin to increase the motion of the knees, eventually Bringing the knees to rest towards the right side. Make an adjustment with the hips. Allow the shoulders to remain in contact with the floor. A gentle belly twist. If this is not comfortable for your lower back, have a pillow under the knees and allow the knees to take a, a shorter movement. The gaze can follow the left hand. Adjust the hips, bring the body back to neutral. Allow the knees to move from side to side. Adjust the hips. Take the knees towards the left side, allowing the shoulders to remain in contact with the floor. The gaze can turn in the opposite direction if that's the right thing for your body. Draw the gaze back to the centre, the knees back to the centre, settle the body. Hug the knees in, make small circles, use the pressure between the lower back and the yoga mat or the floor to massage the lower back. Place the feet towards the floor, lengthen the legs out. You're very welcome if you are close by to your bed to bring yourself into bed for this yoga pose. Allow the body to settle in complete stillness. Draw your focus to your breath. Shavasana is your time for the body to absorb the physical practice of yoga. If you notice the mind wandering with the thoughts of the day, acknowledge them and allow them to pass with kindness by drawing your focus back to your breath. Go 
notice the points of contact between the body and the floor. And allow the shoulders to melt. Allow the back of the head to be supported. The whole of the front of the body to be soft. If you are practicing your Shavasana in bed, please feel very welcome to stay here. Otherwise, begin to deepen the breath. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Start to wriggle the fingers. Begin to bend the knees. Move the hips, small movements to bring some awareness to the body. Draw the knees towards the chest and roll onto your favorite side. Make a pillow of the hands or the neck or shoulders. Bring your body to an upright, comfortable position. Allow the body to settle. Bring the hands together, the thumbs touching at the third eye. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. I wish you a restful night's sleep.